Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hello, twerps. Allow us to introduce ourselves. Hi. To protect the world from devastation. To wipe my butthole with the diarrhea nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. I found a hot pocket in my pocket. Jesse. Elliot. Team Goober blasting off at the speed of light. Well, I'm not ready. Hi. Meow, that's right. Except not fucking really. Nah. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> hi, welcome back, guys. I uh, remember that better than Elliot does. Yeah, James <laughs> is like, do you remember this? I'm like, oh. Uh, you know they've actually done multiple new Team Rocket mottos over the years? By the way, uh, no, I did not know that. But real quick, side note, um, viewers, don't hate me. This is the only temple that I don't... Well, and the Shadow Temple, beginning of the sa Shadow Temple. Oh, you don't remember this one that well? I remember, like, 85% of it, but I never remember which order to do things in. Oh, so, okay. like, I want to say this isn't the right place right now to come in here yet because once we get to the end of the hall we still need a key so i want to go outside but maybe outside is locked right now the outside place you know what i'm talking about yeah 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 the little courtyard anyway so think of it as uh a, a, not a blind run at all because i've definitely beaten this a million times but um i never fully remember this and the last two times or so i beat this was on master quest so it was a little different um it's well it's like this is kind of a temple where you don't have to do it in a specific order. Okay. Can't you kind of do things in the order you want to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like four different I'll, I'll definitely get this done, like, pretty easily. The problem is I won't get it done, like... Why isn't Super he... Everyone knows that path A is the fastest to go here and then get this key and then do that. Like, that's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, you were saying that Jesse and James, they made they, they made Team Rocket, um... Oh, yeah, they, they, they made other mottos in the, the newer Pokemon shows, but they, they were never as good. Oh. They were, like, totally... Team Rocket has a Rice Krispie treat, and if you don't <laughs> do what we say, I'm not gonna give you... Wabba fat. <laughs> wabba wabba. Um, yeah, Elliot, you wanted to talk about, uh, your little, uh... You, you Smash went to, Fest? Well, you had a bachelor party. Yes, yeah, I didn't have a bachelor party. Or you I went, went to, to a bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> different, different meanings. That's true. Uh, yeah, a childhood friend of mine, like one that I've known since third grade, at least maybe second, but I think third grade. Um, yeah, dude, uh, it was it was cool. He he's getting married today, actually, and uh, so we. I, I only caught the very end of it because I oh, okay. had to work that day, and it was on a Thursday night, but um. Yeah, it was super laid back. We just hung out. We went to an IHOP. <laughs> like, just chill, dude. Uh, he, he, like, doesn't drink or anything, so it wasn't, like, any crazy parties. But uh, Look, dude, let's go to every strip club in town, yeah, man. Yeah, it was definitely not that. Do so, it all while you can until you're shackled for life, basically. That's how a lot of people view marriage, That is how a lot of people. Um, but, yeah, dude, uh, so it was, it was definitely my kind of, you know, pace of bachelor party. I don't fucking nice. go to strip clubs or anything. But, oh, my God, <laughs> fuck. I, I mean... Oh, okay, I do need the bow to get past this part. But anyways, um, fucking A, dude. Fucking A. You don't Thurs have a bow and arrow? Thursday night on a... No, you get it in this temple after you uh, beat a... Uh, Mid-boss? Um, yeah, I... Skeletron. I fucking forget their Skeletor, name. Skeletor. Megatron. I forget their name. <laughs> Shit. Stalfos. Stalfos. Um, Discord. No, Stalfos. Okay, pl please continue. You were talking um, about the bachelor party. Yeah, I'm confused now. Oh, wait, no, I did that right. Okay, cool. Um, yes, the bachelor party. So it was on a fucking Thursday night. And uh -huh. like, why? Yeah, and that is not the ideal night. I finally to got to thing. sleep at like two in the morning or so, and oh, I had to no. work the next day. I could have come in late. My hours are super flexible. But, yeah, luckily, dude, that's awesome. But I just fucking don't. I like to like you know be there at the same time. So if people need to talk to me, they're like, oh, I know when he's gonna get in, or like you know what I mean. Uh -huh. It's just easier for me to do that. Totes. So even though I should have probably slept in, holy shit, I was fucking dead all Friday. Like, fucking roasted. Oh my god. god. Yeah, it was uh. That was awful. It was rough. It was a fun time, but yeah, fuck. Okay, so this is all set up for us at least next time we come. This is why I I preface this. By telling the viewers, don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's kind of... Im you know, you can't control all the viewers, unfortunately. Totally. Oh, phew. What? You didn't. I thought you were going to hurt yourself. But you rolled, right? Yeah, you, you rolled. Landed. You roll. 
You know, I used to think that was a thing when I was a kid. I was like, I wonder if you can just jump off however far you want. And if you roll at the bottom, you just, it's fine. <laughs> like, that that works. You could jump out of a plane. And I mean, like, the reason no one's ever done it is because you'd be going so fast, you'd have to roll so fast. People Chances are too are. scared to try. Yeah, exactly. So I'll be that's, the first one to try. That's what I thought in my head. Not that I was going to be the first one. I was like, yeah, I bet you could do it. <laughs> I was actually just questioning that a few seconds ago. I was like, wait, would that work in real life? Is there no. something I'm missing? No. Okay, no, I didn't think so. You can jump off of high places because you're transferring your momentum from, like, just, like, all the force being absorbed directly into your legs and then the, uh, thus the, the pushback going up, right, uh -huh. in your body, and that's way too much force. Um, you're transferring it, so you, you absorb some of the shock when you fall and then you roll into it so a lot of your momentum gets transferred into a forward roll uh -huh. and that's why you don't uh it doesn't hurt your feet as much or that yeah that's why you can jump probably like 20 30 feet if you were really skilled all right so it so you can do it it's yeah not indefinitely though okay, and it's if you're but... if you're really good and i mean 30 feet is like i i don't know i i don't know of anyone doing it at 30 but i've seen people do it at like 20 feet during shows and stuff like have you ever been to teatro or uh, Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, I've been to Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, dude. Uh, like that. I mean, sometimes they'll do crazy shit like that. Dude, I remember the first time I ever went to Cirque du Soleil. I went to. It was at. Uh, I think it was it was Disneyland or Disney World. Oh. Yeah, no, that was I super cool. I fucking love those places. The the freaking the the ads say the happiest place on earth. It's totally true. I freaking love those places. You know, most of my friends fucking hate it. What? <laughs> Not hate it, okay? They don't like it. They're like, why? Oh, I'd rather go to Six Flags. Because the rides aren't, like, that intense or anything. But for me, it's like the... I don't know, it's immersion, right? Yeah, dude. Everything is fucking themed as shit. It's, it's like awesome. narrative. It's like, It feels yeah. like, like the rides are more narrative-based. Yeah, exactly. And I like that, but I definitely see how some people don't like that, right? Yeah, it's like some people prefer, like, the... Yes, kinetic energy, rush. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Which, I mean, I like that shit too, but for me personally, like, my imagine is, imagination is just so fucking crazy that whenever I'm in, like, an immersive experience like that, I'm like, whoa. Like, whenever I see a magician do a magic trick in front of me, it fucking, like... Blows your mind. No, it, like, I can kind of comprehend what's going on sometimes. Sometimes I don't, you know, like, um, magicians are fucking great, but it, like, gives me this unnerving sense of, like, I'm in a dream and I don't like it. Oh. I don't like magicians very much. Oh. Yeah, because I like my imagination wanders and I'm just like, whoa, shit, dude. This is weird. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm just like, wow. Like, I start to imagine things uh, like... I'm oh, like, you've already been in here. Yeah, I know, but now I have a key. So oh. I can go to the top. Oh, okay. So, I'll be like, oh, yeah, dude. Uh, Like, wow. What, what if I was asleep right now? What if... Uh, what if this dude could, like, bend physics? Wow, what if this guy... I'm just like, Jesus Christ, I gotta stop letting my mind wander. I don't I don't actually, like, get upset or anything. My mind just fucking wanders like crazy. Goes to the dark side. Yeah. Wow. I don't actually think I'm in a dream, but I get that weird feeling, like, when you're in a dream... You're when like, you see oh. a, magi a <laughs> musician... When you see a magician? If Not always, not always. Just, like, if they do a really fucking mind-blowing trick that I have no idea how to, like, comprehend what's happening... Like, I'll give you an example. Uh -huh. One time, after I graduated from high school, uh, my folks and I and some of my friends went out to a uh, Mexican place, Great. Mexican restaurant uh, downtown. And it was fucking awesome, and they had some magician there going around table to table, like, performing tricks. And I don't know what the fuck, I mean, it, it was just some, you know, weird uh, optical illusion trick, but he had a coin, right? Yeah. And it was, like, on the back of his hand, or, uh, no, he eventually put it on the back of my hand, and he, like... He snapped his fingers or some shit, and he had his, his other hand above his hand. So, viewers, imagine your right hand out in front of you and your left hand above it, like, two feet, right? Okay. He, like, snapped his hand, his right hand, the one on the bottom, with the coin on it, and it, like, slowly looked like it was going up towards his left hand and then bounced back down to his other hand. And what? it just looked so fucking crazy. I had no idea how he did it, and I was just like, oh, my God. God, I was just trying to imagine everything of how that could happen, and it just blew my mind. I couldn't figure it out, and those are the kind of things where I'm like, am I in a fucking dream? Wow. Yeah. That's nuts. Does that make sense? Uh, kind of. That I was guess. a mouthful. Huh. Fuck off, Wallmaster. Oh, yeah. I hate Eat my weed. Dude, these things scared the poop out of me when I was a little kid. Oh. Yeah. Fuck I off. Yeah, these things would have terrified me, too. Okay. I... 
I am, like, not going the right way because I need a key. I swear I have to go outside first. Hmm. Um, Maybe you had to use that key to... You know how, like, right when you go into the main room, there's, there's a, a door straight ahead? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you were supposed to go in there. Uh, I, I went through the door straight ahead. Oh, you did? Yep, that's oh. how I got that key. Oh. I could have swore I had to go outside. So I'm missing a key box here. Mm -hmm. For sure. If only we had the dungeon map. Ah, uh, fuck that. We made this slightly easier. Okay, so I, I have utilized two keys. Alright, alright. Let's see here. Did you ever see that movie called The Prestige? No. It was. It's a movie about rival magicians, and okay. they they talk about really cool. They just talk, show off really badass magic tricks. Huh. Like this one guy's able to catch a bullet, and what? the tr the trick is like he actually he already has a bullet in his hand. Okay. And the gun isn't actually loaded, so when he has somebody shoot the gun at him, uh -huh. he pretends to catch it, and it's like I have the bullet, and they're like, whoa, how do you catch that? And then he's like, oh, I actually already had it, so it's a trick. And he's like, and they're like, oh, okay. I wonder, can you? No. No. I don't know if you could cheese the that. The two-dimensional, wh ah! whatever the hell that thing is called, is too powerful for you to get through. Is there just like a fucking key box chilling around here? Hmm. Okay, I swear, I and I called this earlier, I think I have to go to the outside area. Yeah. Like, uh, where there's that well. Hmm. Yeah. I know what you're talking okay. About. I do know. I guess next time on Royal Goobs, we'll find out. Good luck.